A high-end condo complex in White Plains is getting rid of former President Donald Trump's name. Yeah, News 12's Jonathan Gordon explains. So, Jonathan, what's going on? Well, building management sent out a survey to nearly all of the condo owners, and they overwhelmingly voted last Thursday to drop the Trump name. The 35 story condo complex at 10 City Place has been the Trump Tower since it opened in 2005. But that will soon come to an end. More than two thirds of the residents voted in favor of debranding. Between 69 and 70% of the unit owners wanted to change the name, wanted to debrand. Talks of a name change have been floating for several months following the riot at the Capitol on January 6th. Some for political reasons, others in hopes of keeping property values high. If you poll 25 people in the building, you might get 15 different reasons. A rebranding committee is now working through the next steps. They bas basically just started brainstorming on new names. Trump Plaza in New Rochelle and Trump Park residents in Yorktown both dropped the Trump Organization as the managing company and could one day vote to debrand like White Plains. The Trump Organization has not yet returned our request for a comment. All right, so Jonathan, I see the Trump sign there behind you. How uh, quickly is that going to change? Well, management here at the building says it could be several months, maybe five months to pick a new name and then get everything approved and get the new signs up. So for at least the meantime, while the name is out going out the door, it'll still be on your way in to the door. And of course, they're not the first to even do it this year. There was the Trump Park in Stamford, not too far from where we are. They dropped the name in February. We'll send it back to you. All right, Jonathan, thanks. So we want to hear from you tonight. What do you think about the Trump name and logo being removed from buildings? Well, Anna Marie says leave the name as it is. Meanwhile, Kimberly feels a little different. Hallelujah and three exclamation points. So we want to hear your thoughts on this topic. So head to our Facebook page to comment. We'd love to hear from you.